G'day folks. A few people have asked me whether or not you can hook these compressors up in series to pull a stronger vacuum. Uh, I don't currently have a vacuum gauge at the moment that reads past 30 inches in mercury, so I can't quite tell with this test whether or not it's working to its fullest extent. But from what I can tell, you do get a stronger vacuum. Not by much, but it is stronger. Maybe 300 microns at the most, depending on the kind of compressor you're using. Uh, that was suggested by my mate B.A. Jagnut on YouTube. Um, I'm just using a standard light commercial compressor here. They're uh, surplus scrap. I have to actually destroy them after this test, but just for the purpose of the exercise, I thought I'd set some of them up and use them. I'm going to try it with my current vacuum gauge. I end up reading about 25 inches in mercury coming off my workshop tandem compressor up in the corner there. That one there, the inlets, the inlets are both bridged together and the outlets are both bridged together, so they're working in tandem. Now that pulls about 25 inches in mercury. This one here pretty much maxes out the gauge almost. It doesn't quite hit the uh, little peg down there, but it gets close. So I'll power it up and just show you what it does. And they're feeding from the discharge line of the first compressor into the suction side, the housing of the second compressor. And then out again down there, just open, out to open air. Just getting past it. A bit better than before. And the little ones I've got on the wall up there are probably a bit tired as well, so I can't blame them for not pulling more than 25. But the needle just ain't moving past 30. It's not actually hitting the peg on the other side. But the gauge isn't built for it, so chances are it's pulling more vacuum, but the gauge won't read it. So when I get a better gauge, I'll try this again. Power-wise, everything's hooked up.